welcome back students uh, we have already discussed uh, uh, factorization and finding zeros of a x square plus b x plus c where a is equal to 1 that is such type of question x square plus b x plus c so now we are going to discuss how to find when a is not equal to 1 that is it is not equal to 1 so there is no difference as such but uh, only few things you have to follow so what you have to do is here whenever you have a problem like this so let me take 2x square minus 3x plus 1 equal to 0 so what will happen you take this as the multiple okay 2 into 1 that is how much 2 so this multiple you now split it into two parts such that it will become minus 3 so how can you split 2 multiple so this will be minus 2 and minus 1 so now you can do this as 2x square minus 2x minus x plus 1 equal to 0 2x into x minus 1 minus 1 x minus 1 equal to 0 2x minus 1 into x minus 1 equal to 0 so so 2x minus 1 equal to 0 x will be half x minus 1 is 0 x equal to 1 so very easily you are getting this so let me now take the next question 4k into 3k minus 1 equal to 5 so if i open the bracket it will be 12k square minus 4k minus 5 equal to 0 so if you see this this will be 60 so how will you split this so this is minus 60 actually minus 60 you can and you have to get so what are the possibility multiples of 60 you have 12 into 5 this is 3 into 4 into 5 so 3 into 2 into 5 so you also have 6 into 10 so you have this so minus 10 and then 4 will give you minus 10 and 6 will give you minus 4 so it can be split so it will be 12k square minus 10k plus 6k minus 5 equal to 0 so 2k you can take it out 6k minus 5 plus 1 6k minus 5 equal to 0 2k plus 1 into 6k minus 5 equal to 0 so k equal to minus 1 by 2 k equal to 5 by 6 very easily you will get this see the roots uh, uh, can be got but uh, i advise you to do this way so let me now take this 2x square plus 5x minus 12 so how would you do this this is minus 24 you have to get 5 so this will be minus 8 and then plus 8 and then minus 3 because you have to get minus plus 5 so this will be 2x square plus 5x minus 2 equal to 0 2x square plus 8x minus 3x minus 12 equal to 0 2x equal to x plus 4 minus 3 x plus 4 equal to 0 2x minus 3 into x plus 4 equal to 0 x will be 3 by 2 and x will be minus 4 so i'm showing you all the steps so let me now go to the next question students minus 15 equal to 0 take this minus 90 split this plus 10 and minus 9 because plus 10 minus 9 will give you y 6y square plus 10y minus 9y minus 15 equal to 0. Take 2y will be 3y plus 5 minus 3 equal to 3y plus 5 equal to 0. 2y minus 3 into 3y plus 5 equal to 0. y equal to 3 by 2 y equal to minus 5 by 3 so these are very very easy questions so now similarly 6a square plus a minus 5 equal to 0 this will be minus 30 minus 30 you can write it as 6 and then 5 because minus 5 6 minus 5 is plus 5 so you have 6a square plus 6a minus 5a minus 5 equal to 0 6a a plus 1 minus 5 a plus 1 equal to 0 
6a minus 5 a plus 1 equal to 0 a equal to 5 by 6 a equal to minus 1 this is 8x square minus 22x minus 21 equal to 0 into 2 so one one way of doing this is you can say this is 28 and this is 6 so 28 minus 6 is 22 or minus 28 plus 6 is minus 22 so you can get this as minus 22 minus 28 and then plus 6 so if you split this Seven by two, so you will get this as the answer x equal to minus three by four and x equal to seven by two. So please keep solving this questions because these are very important questions. I'm doing these questions because you, you need to get more practice in this type of questions. Nine x square minus three x minus two equal to zero. This will be minus how much? Minus eighteen, minus eighteen, minus eighteen. Again, you will get minus six and then three. You can get this. So 9x square minus 6x plus 3x minus 2 equal to 0. So you will get 3x, x minus 2, 3x plus 1, 3x minus 2. So you will get 3x plus 1, 3x plus minus 2 equal to 0, x equal to minus 1 by 3, x equal to 2 by 3. So the answers are not there, but you know this answer. Yeah. So similarly, so let me now cancel all this because of some editing mistake it has happened. So how do you get this? So take this. This will be minus 12. So minus 4 and 3, 6x square minus 4x plus 3x minus 2 equal to 0. So you can take out 2x. This will be 3x minus 2 plus 1 3x minus 2 equal to 0 2x plus 1 into 3x minus 2 equal to 0 x will be minus 1 by 2 x will be 2 by 3 similarly this question 6x square plus 11x plus 3 equal to 0 this will be 18 9 into 6x square plus 9x plus 2x plus 3 3x plus 1 plus 2x plus 3 equal to 0. x will be minus 1 by 3. x will be minus 3 by 2. So this is the question. So let me now go to the next type of questions. So, so most of the type of questions are covered here students. So that is the reason why I am taking so much time in explaining it to you. Because you need to be a master in this. Because both polynomials and quadratic equation rest on this. So that's why I'm taking more time. So this will be minus 10. So this will be minus 5, 3, minus 5 and 2. Because that will give you minus 3. So if you take this. So you also solve this independently so that you become a master in this. So x will be minus 2 by 5. x will be 1. Similarly, this question, so 48x square minus 13x minus 1. So, if you do this minus 48, you can split it as minus 16 and 3 because minus 16 and 3 will give you minus 13. So, the easiest way of doing this question is, see, you take this, you take the opposite, that is 16, opposite. 
and divide by a that will be 48 that will be 1 by 3 that is one root another root will be take minus 3 and divide by 48 that is another root so if you simplify it will be minus 1 by 16 so the, in one step also you can do this question but i don't advise you to do this because you may not get marks in the board exam but in other competitive exams you can attempt that so let me now take 3x square plus 11x plus 10 so this would be 30 this can split into 5 into 6 correct so what is the answer this will be minus 5 by 3 and minus 6 by 3 that is minus 2 so now let me now go to one of the most uh, important questions where you will have irrational numbers or search so these are root 2 x square minus 3x minus root root 2 is equal to 0 so now you mu multiply this you will get 2 root 2 minus into root 2 this is minus 2 into 2 minus 4. So, how do you spread this? Minus 4 and then 1. So, root 2 x square minus 4 x minus plus x minus 2 root 2 is equal to 0. Now, if you take out root 2 here common, x square minus root 2 x, it will be 4 by root 2 plus 1 into x minus 2 root 2 equal to 0 this 2 root 2 4 4 by root 2 what is this if you multiply by root 2 into root 2 with 2 root 2 correct very easy so you will get this as root 2 x plus 1 into x minus 2 root 2 equal to 0 x will be minus 1 by root 2 and x will be 2 root so very easily you can do this you can also solve directly so you have minus 4 and 4 this will be 4 by root 2 and this will be minus 1 by root 2 this will be nothing but uh, you multiply by root 2 into root 2 this will be 2 root 2 this is root 2 into root 2 this will be minus root 2 how you can um, or root 2 by 2 so you see there is no simplification here so it will be minus 1 by root 2 only so there is no further simplification so let me now go to 14th question a square x square minus 3 a b x plus 2 b square so you have this so 2 a square b square so if you multiply so how will you split this to get minus 3 a b so you can see this minus 2 a b and minus a b so what will be the answer minus 2 a b that will become plus by a square so that will be 2 2 b by a the other one will be b a by a square that is b by a so 2 b by a and then b by a so you can solve it in a regular way but i am trying to push part so the next question 15th 15th let me now show you detailedly sometimes such type of questions come regularly so what is this so if you multiply this will be minus 4 a into b square so now from this you have to get 4 b so how will you get this see you can split this into so you know that this is minus uh, 4 into a minus b into a plus b correct so if you take minus 2 a minus b and then 2 into a plus b what will you get you can see that you will get 4b so very easily you can see that so minus 2 into minus a minus b into 2 plus a b will give you plus 4b so now easily you can find the root so this will be 2 a minus b by 4 and then minus a plus b 2 by 4 this will be a minus b by 2 minus a plus b by 2 so very easily you will get this so let me now go to the next question a square b square x square so that will be a square b square so minus a square minus b square so that will be 1 by b square 1 by a square so let me now go to the next question root 3 x square plus 11 x plus 6 root 3 
equal to 0 this will be 3 into 6 that is 18 so 18 you will have 9 into 2 so the answer will be minus 9 by root 3 minus 2 by root 3 so this will be minus 3 root 3 minus 2 by root 3 very easily you will get this question students so let me now go to some more type of questions where it will be slightly more complicated so x square minus x square by x equal to 15 by 4 so if you simplify square into 4 into 15x you'll get 4x square minus 15x minus 4 equal to 0 so when you split this you'll get minus 16 minus 16 and 4 16 by 4 and then minus 1 by 4 so very easy student so last two question 13 m equal to 6 m square plus 1 so 13 m equal to 6 m square plus 6 6 m square minus 13 m plus 6 equal to 0 so this into this will give you 36 so this is minus 9 minus 4 so 9 by 6 and 4 by 6 that is 3 by 2 and 2 by 3 is the answer so very easy sometimes you'll also get uh, decimal so but you can convert this so you have 0.2 t square minus 0 0.04 t minus 0 0.03 so this will be minus 0 0.04 t minus 0 0.03 equal to 0 so that will be if you multiply by uh, 100 let us take so this will be 20 t square minus 4 t uh, minus 3 equal to 0 so now you can simplify this 20 t square 40 minus 3 equal to 0 so what will you get minus 60 minus 60 is minus 10 and 6 so you will easily get the answer so students it's always better to take the uh, question and then solve it uh, in a very systematic way so with that, I have given you a very comprehensive overview. We have solved more than 30, 40 questions of factorization. So now it would be a good way to solve the main NCRT question because your basics have been molded well now. So you can go into a deeper concept now. Thank you, students.